We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. It's Yankees baseball, and it comes your way next. James Paxton is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, what this guy's been able to do is not easy. Averages over a strikeout per nine innings. His K per nine innings rate right now is 10 for every nine innings pitched. Definitely one of the elite pitchers with the elite swing and miss stuff. Leading off tonight, here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. We show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. First offering on its way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Game time temperature, a comfortable 76 degrees. And now look out as Ed runs in and gets him, and a very interesting start to this one. Well, there's no strategic reason to hit the leadoff man that I can think of, so now he's aboard with no outs to start the game, and that's not how you want to get your outing underway on the mound. So striding in, Ramon Urias. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh. And that misses ball one. And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Matty, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt, I'm okay with it. D-Row, you know one of the things, I guess, with Clyde is he is a real good low strike umpire. Pitchers seem to like him more than hitters, but one thing I will say, he has a very consistent zone. It's a low zone, but a consistent zone. Nobody out, runner on first. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. The 2-1. Two, one. Three and one. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind 3-1 to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. Iglesias gets his lead at first. Nobody out. A bouncer to the left side. One there. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. The right fielder, number 15. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder Trey Mancini. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. That's a well-placed fastball right there, just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. 
can't get him to chase. It's one and two. So the intent of that 0-2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. High and deep to center field. Gardner going back to the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. Orioles nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Asher Wojciechowski will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his off-speed pitch repertoire early on in this one. We'll see if he can do that in this Leading one here today. For the Yankees. Stepping in, the Brett field. Gardner. He's currently Brett. ninth in the American Gardner. League batting race entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Oh. One and two. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Hit out towards second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Batting second, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. Stepping up now, Aaron Judge. His prior history in this matchup, he's one for four. First pitch coming. Here it is. A great curveball there. Really fooled him with that one. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, guys, dropping yesterday was a heartbreaker without question. But you know what? You find a way. You show up to the yard today. You get out of the cab, and you watch countless hours of video, and you try and formulate a game plan to get this back to 500. One and one to start the road trip, and you're moving in the right direction. The count now at two and one. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. Swing and a streamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. One out, nobody on. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right that there, he goes down on the strikes, but he really made Begin. that guy on the mound work for it. I'm and when you're hard. doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. Popped him up. Severino is under it. And the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Still no score. Oh. 
All set for the start of the inning, and standing in is the DH, Renato Nunez. Renato Nunez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A ball and no strikes. One and oh. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 and 0 oh now. Loud contact there but it's well foul. Hitters count now. Here's the 2 and 1. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2 2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. The third baseman, Hunter Alberto. Coming to the plate now, Hanser Alberto. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Knuckle curve down below the knees, 1 0. Still looking for our first hit in the ballgame. Count even now at 1 and 1. As a look, now the pitch. Nope, I'll do. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. The left fielder, number 25, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two and zero oh to the Baltimore left fielder. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Two and one. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. In the air now out to left field. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. And the run will score easily as the Orioles are off to a 1-0 lead. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. Striding into the box, Austin Hayes, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the belt, the pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Oh. 
way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. A ball and two strikes. One ball. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. The one two. This pitch is popped up and he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Batting it. The catcher. Number now with the plate, Pedro Severino. Pedro he takes his first cuts Severino. in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set and the pitch. In there, strike one. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle. A one pitch on its way. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball middle of the plate. Kept his hands back. Stayed through the baseball. And delivers a hard hit line drive. Here's Chris Davis now. Line hard. But foul. Come set, the 0-1. Okay. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Orioles out to an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. Change up, and he ain't buying it 1-2. and two. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. It's a run on two hits here for Baltimore. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Orioles are on top, one to nothing. Standing in, Gary Sanchez. Goes, and he Yankees. really thrives in the, the batter's catcher. box here at home. Gary. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Sanchez. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. One and two. Your eyes light up from the offensive side playing in a hitter's park like this. Have to get the ball up to do some damage. I'm not mad at that take. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. I think he that had his good. mind made up. He was swinging the bat, trying to protect Five. before the ball even left the pitcher's Stop hand. Man. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. At the plate, Mike Talkman. Yes, he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Comes in here right at 260. Five homers, 18 driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. No, that's the ball. Bases are empty, one man out. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Wojciechowski isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. The 3-1. 
count full three balls and two strikes. The three two pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field chasing after it is Santander. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the that inning. Six. The second baseman. DJ. LeMahieu. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Here comes the first pitch. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. He's had some success so far, but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy, sooner or later they're going to figure him out. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Liner towards second. But this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They trail this one, one to nothing. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Jose Iglesias. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. And this is taken. It's a ball and a strike now to the Baltimore shortstop. And now a curveball as he's got a lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Now batting. Second baseman. Ramon Uriah. So now to the plate. Ramon Urias. Oh. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Urias, the native of Mexico, he's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Comes set and the 0 1. First with no outs here. A bullet to first base. Tries to dance back into the bag. Not in time to double off the runner. Now batting. Right fielder. Trey Mancini. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder Trey Mancini. From the belt, the pitch. Line hard down the line and right. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. That's a ball. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a liner. Foul. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. 
We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The three two one more time a swing and a shot hit down the corner and foul though it had the home run distance you know taking you inside the mind of a batter right here you can't get an auto swing mode you still have to control the strike zone and this one misses here a close pitch on three and two but Clyde Washington rules it ball four man that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. So two men are on with one man out, and digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Gardner comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Now batting third baseman Hunter Alberto. Ready for another chance Hunter Alberto two on two out for him here in the third. First offering on its way. Now a swing and a fly ball. LeMahieu in foul ground, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Comes set. The 0-1. Oh, one ball, one strike. One and two now. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Push to the right side. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The O's lead this thing one to nothing. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade at 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on That's offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. First pitch coming. Here it is. The wind up and the 0 1. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting eight, the designated hitter, number 29. In now is the Yankees' DH, Gio Urshela. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Oh. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Two and oh. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting ninth, the first baseman, Mike Ford. So coming to the plate, Mike Ford. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. Run about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Grounded up the first baseline. And Davis will take this one himself to retire the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three. 
It remains 1-0. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it feels like every time they've made contact, it's been hard contact, and the numbers certainly back that up. In total, they've hit an amazing 10 line drives in this game alone. And while some of those have resulted in outs, it's consistency that has this coaching staff feeling really good about really what they're the seeing right now. The left fielder. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Anthony Santander. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Anthony oh. Santander is in for his second plate oh. appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. count now a ball and a strike you're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle cannot be late on that fastball the 1-1 one, one. this is hit sharply to the left side a leap but he can't bring it down base hit now batting the center fielder Austin Hayes Austin Hayes the next to bat as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh comes into this at bat 0 for one in the ball game. Swing and a miss one and one. Grounder down the line at third. Enduhar fields it cleanly. On the first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings. And there are two away now. The catcher, number 28, Pedro Severino. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. A base hit in his first trip. The pitch. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. One run, four hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. And the pitch. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it any time he wants for a strike. The one-two. Misses for the second ball. And he fouls this one off. Another try at 2-2. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Still even at 2-2. Two and two. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here. Searching for that put-away stuff. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Orioles held in check there, but they're on top one to nothing. Here's Brett Gardner now. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, either. Matt. They've yet to figure Red. this guy out on the mound. Gardner. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. And now pitch on the way. Red. 
rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. Line hard, but foul. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. There to take it as the sure-handed Iglesias won away. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron John. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Here comes the first pitch. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. A swing and a ground ball to third. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Now batter, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth, and striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Yankee still on the lookout for hit number one here. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. The 2 0 on the way. Now here's a bouncing ball headed for Iglesias at short. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. 1 2 3 go the Bombers. They're down 1 0. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. Of and up next, the left handed power the bat of Chris Davis. 19. Chris Davis. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. Now the pitch. Three and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Good battle. Count remains full. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but Okay. Not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Stepping in now, Jose Iglesias. Did high and deep out to straightaway left. Left fielder looking up at the track. The wall. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to left. Fourth home run for him on the season as the Orioles are now out to a 2-0 lead.
When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. Now batting. At the plate now, Ramon Urias. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0. 1 and 1 the count. Fouled away. The 1 2. No, that's the ball. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. He swung on and missed strike three. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. So here's Trey Mancini. He'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0. Turned on down the line. But a foul ball, 1 and 1. Two runs, five hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Oh, and no. not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters count, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Your Jonathan Holder please. takes over here with now the runner at first and two team. gone in the inning. Number 56. Jonathan Holder. Renato Nunez will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. From the belt, the pitch. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. And on 0 and 2, he misses with the fastball. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. The one two misses ball two. Well two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to.
Here now the 2-2. Fouled off. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's now 2-0 Baltimore. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me overall he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around the for them. Yankee. Thank you, the Heidi. Catcher. Gary Sanchez. Here comes the first pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. 0 1, here's the pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Now, now at the plate, Mike Tuckman flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here's the pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking the zone. He wants a quick inning so he won't be nibbling. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Pulled toward right center field. Mancini is in his tracks now. And that's out number two. Now batting. The second baseman. DJ. Here's the second baseman, oh, DJ LeMayhew. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Here's the pitch. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter-friendly, it's been a treat to watch. And he misses with it one and one. One ball, one strike. Two out, nobody on. One one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. Swing and he pops him up. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're down two to nothing. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. He's set to lead us off in the sixth Hanser inning. Alberto. First delivery to him on the way. To short. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The left fielder, number 25, Anthony Santander. Ready for another shot now, Anthony Santander, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitching. Oh. A ball and no strikes. Oh. 
bottom part of the zone. A good changeup gets the call. The 1 1. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gardner going back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he is in at second base with a one out double. And he honestly didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Standing in now, Austin Hayes. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. To the plate now, Pedro Severino, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Orioles leave one as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Ready to go for the last half of the Here inning. And coming oh, forward now is the shortstop, not Tyler shortstop. Wade. Things not Tyler. looking very good so far in this one, but Wade. we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time oh to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. And here's a curveball looked at strike three called and that's the first out of the inning. The batter digging Number in to 29. try it again. Gio Urshela he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch coming here it is. Ball one. What an out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Nope. Outside, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And the pitch. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really base. sharp out there, guys. Five. Four. At the plate, Mike Ford. As he'll take a look at ball one. 
will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. The 1 0 home. A ball and a strike now. The 1 1. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. One, two, three go the Bombers. They trail it here two to nothing. Tommy Kingley is on to pitch from the now bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 48. Tommy Kingley. Seventh inning ready to roll and set to go is the veteran first baseman Chris the Davis. Baseman, number 19, Chris Davis. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Come on. Who started him with the change and it's nothing and one. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour oh. fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' first baseman. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. The 2 1. And a slider runs okay. in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The bouncer to the left side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Well, if you're going to bobble a ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Jose Iglesias. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. And I'm sure as he strides to the plate right here, he's certainly got to have a little bit more confidence. But that's not his game. He's got to get back to what makes him successful put bat to baseball and try and drive something right back up the middle. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. And there are two away now. Now batting. Second baseman. Ramon Urias. So striding forward now, Ramon Urias. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the first pitch to him. Kainley, 30 years of age. He was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted down the line and left. In comes the left fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. Count leverage right there, sitting dead Count red back. fastball, and White he didn't field. miss it. Nice right. swing right there, driving right. it into the outfield for a knock. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. A couple of walks for him thus far. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. And, and 
nothing in two count and the pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, Ladies and the inning is over. One left for the Orioles, but they hold a 2 nothing lead. Correct. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. Go. For the Yankees. We're moving right along into this field. one as we head into the Brett. late innings. Listen, if you want to score, Gardner. you're going to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that so far. So hopefully this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. 2-0 now. Two balls. No strike. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Boom. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tie run to the plate. And the perfect game will go by the wayside here as this pitch misses for ball four. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. Right You're Number hanging on to a slim lead, and the Error. last thing you want to do is give yeah. up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. From the stretch. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. And he takes this one high, one and one. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in there. The one one. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Oh, and he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. That was some nice execution on that now pitch. Batted. Spotted Third it nicely baseman. down around the bottom of the zone. And when you I'm do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Now batting. Catcher Gary Sanchez. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. And that misses for ball one. Two out with the man at first. Hit in the air to center field. And Hayes will make the catch. The side is retired. The Yanks leave one. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Ladies Luis Sessa has been summoned from the please. bullpen as he'll do so now to start the eighth. The New York Yankees. Number 85. Luis Sessa. New inning set to get underway. And digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. Renato Nunez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low.
And that gets the black on the outside a good slider that time. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there, one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. And he fouls this one off. The next 3 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Tuckman has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Now batting, the third baseman, Hunter Alberto. In now for the O's, Hunter Alberto. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. One out, nobody on. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location. But he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Into the box, Anthony Santander. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The windup and the 0-1. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. One ball, one strike. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. Two out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. Gardner is there. And that retires the side. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're up two to nothing. Leading off the inning, Leading Mike Tuckman. The and Yankees. they'll need him to get something no going field. here. Even though we're moving into the back end of this Tuck game, they're man. only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Hopped up. Iglesias has a play. One away. Every up pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about baseman. that? One pitch, DJ. one out, a pop-up to start Love the inning. Mayhew. Stepping in and ready for another shot, DJ LeMayhew. His dominance continues on the mound, but it seems like he might be running on adrenaline only at this point. Yeah, he's been so great in this one. You want to see him finish what he started, but you also have to start worrying about things like injuries. He's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, and some guys are just more capable of that than others, but not a lot of good things tend to happen when you've worked as hard as he has in this one. 
Santander will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. We're getting yeah, into man. the nitty gritty. Not That's the second out of the eighth inning and the pitcher needs Where? only four more outs for a no hitter. So digging in now Tyler Wade it's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Oh. One ball, no strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And mm, nearly into the hit column in a big way. Instead, it's a foul ball. A 1-1. And when a guy starts leaving the curveball up, that's a sign he's beginning to tire a little bit out there. He's got to be able to get on top of that pitch or he's going to start getting hurt. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. That's lifted the other way out to left. Santander grabs it to retire the side. So he's through eight innings now, and he'll sit to prepare for one last hurrah. We've played eight full. The Orioles lead it two to nothing. Your Aldis Chapman please. comes on to work now, now, and he's their usual closer, but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Oh, well, yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Here comes the first pitch. Austin Hayes is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The 1 0 home. Popped up. Ford is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Now batting. Catcher. Pedro Severino. Into the box. Pedro Severino. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. He's not going to feel good about that at bat, nor should he. You have to want to swing the bat, but he just stood there and looked at four straight pitches. Hopefully, we'll see him get a little bit more aggressive next time. Chris Davis hit the plate now. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 0. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. 1 2 3 go the Orioles as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. The designated hitter, number 29. First offering on its way. On the ground to the left side. Alberto fields it plainly, and the inning begins with a quick out number one. The batter, the first baseman, Mark Ford. 
at the plate. Mike Ford. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time, one and two. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked the guy up with it. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Struck him out. So now just one man stands between he and his no hitter. This guy is really locked now in on the bump right Better now. He's just playing good old fashioned right. hardball right now. Just Your running turn. back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Stepping in now, Brett Gardner. As he'll look oh. at a fastball too high for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1-0. The ball and a strike. One one. You have to find a way in this situation to look in that on-deck circle and find a way to get your best hitter to the plate with a chance to tie it. The one-and-one one pitch. Fastball misses one one. in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Two-run game last of the ninth with two away. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do is walk a guy and bring the tying run to the plate. The three-one pitch. And this one misses for ball four. And the Yankees get a base runner here with two away. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them. And that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. And after that quick walk, is it fair to wonder if this starter is beginning to show signs of getting tired? Yeah, that could be the case, Matty. Sometimes you just lose your focus, lose your command, but it'll be real important for him to get it back as this next hitter walks up to the plate. He's set. Here it comes. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. One and one the count now. The one and one pitch. Down low, two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1. A runner on first with two away. Last chance for the Yankees. Oh, and he got a pitch to handle as this ball is hit high in the air and deep. And, folks, this ball game is tied. So a two-run shot to left center, and we are tied again. Outside of a walk-off homer, it doesn't get any better than getting your boys right back into this one. They got a chance to win this with that one swing of the bat.
Here comes the Baltimore skipper out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. Won't get a decision in this one, but except for a few mistakes, he pitched pretty well here this evening. Sean Armstrong, Armstrong takes the ball, needing to get the final out of the ninth to send this one to extra innings. Sean Armstrong. Now batting, third baseman. Into the Miguel. box now, Miguel Andujar. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The set and the 1 0. Swing and he pops him up, but this will land untouched. The 1-1. One, one. One. Out into right center. Well hit. He's through first and hustling for second. And the possible winning run is in the second base. He's got a two-out double. Bad. The hey, that's a nice piece of hitting right Gary. there. Two out base knock to put the winning that's run on Gary. base. Let's see if someone can catch a gap and end this thing. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. It looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Now Settling in now, Mike no Talkman. Not much in the way of productivity from Not him bad. so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. The 1 0. Popped him up. Alberto is there. And no problem with that one as we are headed for extra innings. We are into extra innings and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Hey, it's okay. never easy scoring runs okay. against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. And that's too high, ball two. Well count the pitch is laid off but in there for strike one. Iglesias in front three and one. Ramon Urias will be next.
lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Gardner is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batter, the second baseman, Ramon Uriah. Now in the box, Ramon Urias. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball well outside. What a note. A ball and a strike. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. Now a foul tip that's held on to with the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Now here's the pitch. Good, team. One out, nobody on. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And a swing and a miss. So a perfect start to the 10th here. Two up and two down. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days. But it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. So now to the plate, Trey Mancini, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. No hits to this point. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Boy, this guy comes out of the pen. He loves coming in in spots like this. Tight situations. This is exactly the type of game that he loves to come into. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is under it. And that retires the side. Nothing doing here this half. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are tied 2-2. Stepping in, DJ LeMay here. He'll step in trying to do something about this 2 2 tie. Love Mayhew. Now here's the pitch. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left hander up and throwing. The 1-0. A great case of a manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager's planting a seed in that umpire's mind to try to expand the strike zone so some of those borderline pitches start to go his pitcher's way. 3-0 to him now. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Hayes on the run for it. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now batting. At the plate, That's Tyler Wade. He flew Tyler. out in his last at bat. Wade. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Bases are empty, one man in.
A ball and two strikes now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what now they bad. did right there. Big Number strikeout, 29. keep that guy off the base path. At the plate now, Gio Urshela. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 0 1 offering. <laughs> Two out, nobody on. And he gets him to go after 1 0 2 as this is popped in the air toward the left side of the infield. Alberto is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. Score remains 2 to 2. Eleventh inning set to get underway, and digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. Renato Nunez. Here's the first pitch to him, and a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Popped him up. Ford ranging into shallow right. He's there and records the first down. The batter, the third baseman, Hunter Alberto. Riding in, Hanser Alberto. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees. One and one. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. The one two is laid off for ball two. That one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Digging in the switch hitter, Anthony Santander. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. And he runs that one high and tight for ball one. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Man, that's going to drive the manager yeah, insane. He loses control of his release point, and now the go-ahead run moves 90 feet closer to scoring. He's going to have to make some good pitches now to get out of this.
Ladies Jack gentlemen. Britton will Your come on in relief please. now as he'll make his now 35th appearance of the three. season. Number 53, Zach Britton. In now, Austin Hayes. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much, 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Judge is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. The catcher, number 28, Pedro Severino. Digging in, Pedro Severino. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. One ball, no strikes to count. Two down, runners at first and second. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. This is two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And a swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So no runs here, no hits, no errors, and two left. It's getting late. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11th. And we are tied 2-2. Tanner Scott takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. Torres will grab a bat to pinch hit here, and you wonder if he'll be swinging Number for the 25. downs, trying to walk off Labor. with a victory. Torres. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1. 289 is the average coming in. 14 homers and 32 driven in. The 0 and 1 delivery. And oh, we can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. And this is a case of a guy taking one for the team. I think he could have gotten out of the way of this one. But he leans into it and puts himself on board. Now he represents the winning run. So it's a good move. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Brett Gardner. The winning run is at first base. Here's the first pitch. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. To Iglesias for one. The right field. That was Another kind of a high enough. degree of difficulty play Aaron. that time. You see the off-balance yeah. throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Run, run, run. He's running in there. Now the throw. Not in time as he steals second. And 
And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Now the one and two pitch. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. No. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 oh and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches, too. Now the three and two pitch. Now this is lined into right center. He comes through. And they've come back to win it here in 11 innings. Well, that at bat shows clearer than anything that some guys, they, they have that clutch gene and some guys just don't. He brings home the winning run from second and is being absolutely mobbed by his teammates. What a finish. Well, everyone was treated to a really well-played ball game in this one, and the guy you see there turned in a particularly notable performance, so he's our top's player of the game in this one. 3-2 to two, the finish in tonight's game. New York claimed the victory despite being held to only three hits. Zach Britton wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.